So at this point, I'm confused. And this is my first day living in this apartment. And I already see roaches. <laughs> back to my channel so first things first i just want to thank everybody for showing so much love in that i'm moving from la video i didn't even know that video was going up like that the comments y'all went crazy in the comments such informative information for other people who are leaving or moving to big cities um just just really really good feedback and i really do appreciate it keep the comments going i'm trying to reply back to as many as i can um but you all really like y'all really did y'all thing in them comments and i appreciate it i really enjoy being able to converse with you all and getting some really true feedback you know what i mean so this video is kind of going to be a continuation of the last one. I saw saw in the comments that someone was asking where did I move to uh, where I, when I moved from LA. So I moved to Atlanta um, and it was the best decision that I could have ever made for myself at the time. Um, but in this video, I wanna talk about my moving experience here. Okay, so for most people, when they're looking to move to a new state or to a new city, they go and they do their due diligence and research all of their um, living options. So for me, um, I was I knew that I was going to move into an apartment. So my first step was to try to find something that was in the same area for myself and my sister. So she was still living in LA while I was still here. While I was, I had already moved here, but she was still in LA. Um, I had already found a job and everything. So basically what I was trying to do was find a place that would coincide with her job that she had gotten before she moved here and my job. So good thing for us is that our jobs are basically 10 minutes away from each other. You know, we really... We really looked out for that for that one. We were really thankful for that. So we found this. Um, so we found this apartment on Yelp. Brittany is really good about yelping things, and she was like, "Ashley, I found this. You know, this com this apartment building on Yelp. Um, the reviews are really good. Um, very minimal complaints, if any. Um, I think you should go check it check it out." So I put in a formal request to go do a tour. Um, the facility was beautiful, pool access, there's a zen yard, um, there's a dog park. They had a really um, accessible gym, not like the best gym, but I mean, it, you know, it, it, it did what it needed to do. Um, and the, um, the layouts were beautiful, right? So we basically came to a consensus that we wanted to get to this place. So basically we're doing our application process and everything. And the turnaround is quick. I think we applied um, one day and then three days later we got approved for the apartment. So that was such a blessing for us and everything. So at the time of my touring, I wasn't able to view the actual layout that we were looking, that we were looking at. So, so they have an apartment that they have like pre-decorated and everything. I forget what you uh, modeled. God damn it. That's what it's called. A damn model unit. So I had to imagine the model unit as a two bedroom apartment and basically everything that the layout that we were looking at had because we didn't get to look at our actual layout. So it's moving day, right? I come with the stuff that I have or whatever and I meet with the resident assistant. He's showing me the apartment. We go inside. We're, at this point, we're in the actual unit that we are going to live in, right? And so we get into the unit. I'm looking around, inspecting everything. Everything looks great. Now, what I did realize, however, while we were looking at this unit, was that there was the, the tiniest dead roach in the trash can in the laundry room right and i noticed it but i still i didn't put too much weight 
behind it at that point. Um, so I check out the rest of the apartment. Everything else looks good. And I go downstairs to sign all of my information, make sure everything is good to go. As soon as he leaves and I go to get my things to move into the apartment, tell me why. As I am about to turn the key, I see now a small live roach crawling on the outside of my door. Okay, I need y'all to follow me here, right? So, go in like I did before with my key. I go into my the bathroom this time. And I go into the bathroom and I look inside the shower. And there's three roaches in the shower. Live ones, like this one, like the small ones. Just crawling around. And then I go into the living area and I see a roach crawling on the ceiling. So at this point, I'm confused because I know that I know that I just moved into a brand new unit. And by brand new, I don't mean that they just built the new, by, by brand new, I mean that this is my first day living in this apartment. And I already see roaches. Now it's one thing if I saw a big roach. Big roaches are like water bugs, those aren't things that you really want to be too concerned about because it doesn't symbolize dirtiness. But the small ones symbolize dirtiness and infestation. And baby, if I see four small roaches already in an apartment that I haven't even lived in yet, there's an infestation. So I commenced to going downstairs and I let the residents know, um, I have roaches in my apartment he was like are you serious i said yes he said are they alive i said yes they are alive and well okay so he comes up um he makes a, a report of it and to get um an inspector to come out so i go to my mailbox and i see that there's like piles and piles and piles of mail now that could be because no one has lit no one has lived in that unit for some time but that maybe that's usually like a month this unit looked like no one had lived there for at least three to five months that's how much mail was in that mailbox and units usually don't sit for that long so that was the second red flag right okay cool keep following me okay so i call my sister i'm like Brittany. I'm in the apartment, but I done found four roaches. What we gonna do? She said, all right, okay, this is what we gonna do. We gonna ride it out for the night. If you see anything tomorrow, then we need to talk to them about moving us into another unit. So like clockwork, right? I wake up and there's even more roaches. I find some in Brittany's master bathroom, bathroom, her bedroom. I find some in the kitchen. Um, at this point, I'm flabbergasted. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, how can one move one into an apartment that has roaches? Okay? Mind you, this I live in a very nice area. I don't live, you know... I live in a very nice area. I'm just going to say that. Okay. And so I set up a meeting with the resident director. And oh, I made sure and I'm, I don't know if I, okay, I may put a little disclaimer in here for y'all because I'm probably going to insert some clips of the roaches because even though this was like a year ago, honey, I always keep my receipts. So I was making sure to record everything that I saw, right? So I'm going to the meeting with the resident director. 
I'm showing her the video and the pictures of the roaches. And um, she was like, yeah, we, we knew about this situation, but we thought we had it under control. I'm sorry. Did you knowingly move me into an apartment that you knew had a previous roach problem, but still decided to lease it? How does that even work? And as I thought about it, I was like, that's why it was so much damn mail in the mailbox. Because y'all couldn't get anybody to live in this damn unit because they had roaches. Jesus, I'm getting mad all over again. <laughs> okay. So, they finally, we finally come to a conclusion. We were like, listen. This is what's going to have to happen. At this point, we have furniture coming to be moved into this particular unit. So what's going to have to happen is y'all going to have to help us move this furniture if it gets here before we move into our next unit. Whatever the unit is we move into, it has to be equal or lesser to what, we're, what we agreed to pay. And there has to be some sort of partial reimbursement or payment for our inconvenience. And so they met all of those guidelines. I will say that they figured it out because at one point they were like, well, we won't have anything available until next month or two weeks from now. It's like, no, we need to be in something by the, by at least the next week. I moved it on a Saturday. We need to be in something else by the next Saturday. It's basically what had to be done. So we basically moved into a unit that wasn't the one that we originally intended as far as the look. Um, but it was the same amount of bedrooms, same amount of bathrooms, but it was just carpeted now. It wasn't hardwood through all throughout anymore, um, which was fine. And it was cheaper than what we were paying before. So we were like, okay, that we'll, we'll take that. So I went in, made sure that... I inspected it thoroughly this time because I feel like I did a good job the second time, but I should not have, I should not have <laughs> not taken that brooch that I saw in that laundry room as a sign. But I was just like, it, 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 it's no way that they can be roaches in here right now. It just, it's no way. But it, it was way, it was way, child. It was way, okay? Um, so... We um, moved into this apartment and everything has been great. We, um, there hasn't been any issues or anything, but yeah, I, I just, I, I, I have never, I've never, I mean, I've, I can understand if someone moves into an apartment and they on their own accumulate things as they're living there, but I'm not going to move into a place that I've never lived before. With the ratings that you all have and be living with roaches. Like that's not even an option. Like I genuinely thought if they weren't going to find a resolution that we were going to have to find another place to live. And I mean, we would have had, we would have gotten it together. We would have figured it out, but damn, that would have been a huge inconvenience. I got my sister coming here the next week to start her job. And she gonna have to have some place to stay. That's it, y'all. I'm really happy I got that off my chest because I haven't really shared that story with much of anyone because it's just, it's not embarrassing. It's embarrassing, but it's not embarrassing for me. It's just, it's just something, it's not something that you want to like share, honestly. You moving into a place and you got to move out the place because they got roaches. Jesus. Mm -mm. But I will say that they did do what they needed to do as they were supposed to, to make sure that they accommodated us. So I am appreciative of that. And we're in a much better situation now. So if you all enjoyed that video, please like subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you can always be notified when I post a video. As always, thank y'all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll see y'all in the next video. 
Bye.